Hi everybody, welcome to a new tutorial from Sound for More. It's Leo speaking. Today we are going to talk about automation of parameters inside Rumbo. Before I continue, I would like to remind my viewers to subscribe as it helps with growing the channel. Thank you very much. Okay, so we are inside Rumbo. Let's um, add uh, an instrument and I start to um, select a processor. So let's add the NADSR. And then we scroll to the left hand side and we add a process, a generator. And uh, as a generator, let's choose why not that oscillator super saw, which is really, really nice. As you know, as you can see, you have a lot of parameters, which I also demonstrated in previous tutorials. So have a look at some of the previous tutorials on how the oscillator module works. Now, you have different ways to record um, automation, and you have a nice automation editor here. Just click on it, and you can see it here, and it is empty at the moment. So let's click on it here again. Okay, so let's choose uh, a parameter that we want to change, like, for example, the fine-tuning here. We're going to click record, and then click um, play, and I'll play some notes, okay? And then uh, I also record some automation, okay? Okay, we stop playing and stop recording. As you can see, as I was moving one of the dials or the parameters, it changed color to red. Okay, so we have recorded some notes here, but let's go straight to the automation editor. So the first thing you see up here, you have two new tabs. The first one is for the fine dials, and the second one is for the uh, width dial or parameters, okay? And these you see the waveform that has been recorded. And if you click here on oscillator width, you can see where I adjusted at the end of the recording the width, okay? So let's see it in action again. <laughs> Okay, perfect. So if you click and O and let go, your parameters uh, or your selection like a delete for deleting uh, uh, that particular um, automation. So let me show you like so. And then you can add a new one. If you click on the plus, then you can choose a new parameter. Like for example, I don't know, the tuning like so, and it will appear there. Okay, click again and um, let go. You can clear like so, you clear the waveform associated to the automation of the parameter. And of course you can um, copy and paste, okay? Which is really nice as you create a waveform for that particular parameter in terms of automation, and then you can copy and paste it to uh, something else. The first one here is a tool selection, okay? Which allows you to, I uh, like so, to modify. But also if you do uh, select in the middle, between the two points outside, like so, it allows you to change the curvature as well, which is really nice. You can do it with multiple points as well, like so. So that's um, that's really nice. And you can continue like so, which is really nice, and create a multiple point. Okay, really, really nice. Then you have these, the delete button, which um, you can, uh, or erase button, in which you can erase the different points. You can draw a curvature like so like with uh, uh, lines, okay? You can also do something interesting here. You know, look, you can create this spike like so, which are really nice. Let's listen. Let me actually do the same on the uh, in the tuning uh, because you will you hear a dr more dramatic uh, um, changes because it will change in semitones. And immediately you can see that there is a lot of variation here and you have a selection here which allows you to add some smoothness. So let's try again. So you can hear that I have added 50 milliseconds in terms of smoothness, but you can change your chords, like for example, 10 milliseconds. 
Okay, then you have other selection in terms of creating, again, different type of effect. <laughs> this is really nice, isn't it? And then you, or you can use the deselection here to create practically steps, like so, right? Or this one, which is quite interesting, it almost looks like... Um, this uh, curvature like so, which again, it will give you a different sound characteristics. <laughs> so you can create some unique sounds using the automation editor. Of course, and it depends on the parameter that you are actually um, using at that time. Then you have two other selection here. The first one is nap on the x-axis, and you can choose a different type, okay? And the same, you can do it as well for the y-axis, okay? And that particular is useful as you draw in curvature, okay? So you, if you have less point, you can see that what you draw is actually quite different compared to, for example, uh, I don't know, 13 points. And let's change it also around uh, the uh, y-axis. Or you can have them off as well. Okay, so I'm going to stop here. So now you know how to use the automation editor for parameters. Thank you very much. See you in the next tutorial. Bye.